Hello, welcome. In this part of the lecture, we're going to see some important formulas in the theory of space curves. These formulas are collectively called the Frenet Serre formulas. In differential geometry, the Frenet Serre formulas describe the kinematic properties of a particle moving along a continuous differentiable curve in three dimensional Euclidean spaces. More specifically, the formulas describe the derivatives of the unit tangent vector t, the unit normal n, and the binormal vector b in terms of one another. These formulas are named after two French mathematicians, Jean-Frédéric Frenet, who lived in 1816 to 1900, who published these formulas in his doctoral thesis in 1847, and Joseph Alfred Serre, who lived in 1819 to 1885, who independently published these results in 1851. Let's have a look at the first of these formulas. The curvature k is related to the tangent and normal vectors by the equation. The derivative of the unit tangent vector with respect to the arc length parameter equals the curvature times the unit normal. Let's have a look at the proof of this formula. Recall that the curvature kappa was defined to be equal to the magnitude of the vector dt by ds. The unit normal vector with the arc length parameter can be written as So the unit normal vector equals to dt by ds, the vector, over its magnitude. Now we can use the definition of the curvature kappa. So the equation now gives the formula written in the box. This completes the proof. Another proposition. Show that the vector, the derivative of the binormal vector with respect to the arc length is perpendicular to the binormal vector b. Show that db ds is perpendicular to the unit tangent vector t. Deduce from the parts a and b that db ds can be written as the scalar multiple of the unit normal vector, where the scalar is negative tau where tau is some scalar function of the arc length parameter. This scalar function is called the torsion of the curve. The torsion of a curve measures how much the curve is twisted.
show that for a plane curve the torsion equals to zero let's have a look at the proof of some of these properties by definition the binormal vector is the cross product of the tangent vector with the unit normal vector as shown in equation one now let's begin the proof of the statement a since the binormal vector b has the magnitude one therefore we can write the dot product of b with itself must be equals to the scalar one since now differentiating the last equation with respect to s namely b dot b equals 1 we obtain this equation please verify and this shows that the vector db ds is orthogonal to the vector b this concludes the proof of a let's see the proof of the statement b since we have the binormal vector was the cross product of the unit tangent and the unit normal vector now differentiating this equation with respect to s we have db ds in the left hand side and in the right hand side we'll apply the product rule of differentiation for the cross product of two vectors namely t prime cross n plus t cross n prime now in the first vector we can replace this t prime as The magnitude of the vector t prime times n cross n plus the second term here stays the same but n cross n is a zero vector because the cross product of a vector with itself is a zero vector so we have only the second term, the second vector left. Now this shows the vector db ds is orthogonal to both the unit tangent vector and the derivative of the unit normal vector. This concludes the proof of the statement B. Similarly, we can try to prove the statements C and D. Now let's have a look at the proof of the statement C.
since the vector db ds is perpendicular to both the vectors b and t, it must be parallel to the vector n. Since n is also perpendicular to both the vectors b and t. So the vectors db ds must be parallel to the vector n. Therefore, there must exist some scalar such that the vectors db ds and the unit normal vector satisfy the equation. Here we denoted the scalar by negative of tau. The minus sign is conventional. This concludes the proof of the statement C. The following formulas called the frenet serre formulas are of fundamental importance in differential geometry. 1. The derivative of the unit tangent vector with respect to the arc length parameter equals the curvature times the unit normal vector. We already proved this formula. 2. The derivative of the unit normal vector with respect to the arc length parameter equals negative kappa times the unit tangent vector t plus tau torsion times the binormal vector b. And formula 3. The derivative of the binormal vector b with respect to the arc length parameter s equals negative tau times the unit normal vector n. We also proved this formula just a moment back. Let's try to see the proof of the equation 2. Since the T and B frame is right-handed, meaning if this is the direction of the unit tangent vector, this is the direction of the unit normal vector, then this would be the direction of the binormal vector. Therefore, we can write the unit normal vector equals the cross product of the binormal vector with the unit tangent vector. Now, differentiating the unit normal vector with respect to the arc length parameter s, we obtain dn over ds equals the derivative of the binormal vector cross the unit tangent vector plus the binormal vector cross the derivative of the unit tangent vector obtained by applying the product rule for the cross product. Now we proved already that the derivative of the binormal vector with respect to the arc length parameter equals negative tau of the unit normal vector. So we replaced this vector here with this vector. Similarly, the derivative of the unit tangent vector is curvature times the unit normal vector. Now again, 
following this cyclic property of cross product. We have n cross t. This n cross t would be the negative b. So we have a this term here, which would become tau times the binormal vector b. Similarly, b cross n would be negative t. So this would become negative kappa the unit tangent vector, which is here. Now this concludes the proof of the formula 2. These formulas can be nicely put into a matrix form. So we have the derivative of the unit tangent vector equals kappa of the unit normal vector and the derivative of the unit normal vector equals negative kappa t plus tau b as shown here and the derivative of the binormal vector is negative tau times the unit normal vector. And we also observe that the matrix appearing here is skew symmetric. Namely, if we denote this by the matrix A, then A transpose equals negative A. Please pause the video and try to have a look on these formulas again. We can use the frenet serre formulas to prove each of the following formulas. Let's see the formula D. It says the torsion of a curve can be calculated by using this expression. It just requires the derivatives of the vector function of the curve. Let's see an example of this formula. Use the formula D in the previous page to find the torsion of the curve described by the vector function with components t, t squared over 2, and t cubed over 3. The derivatives of the vector function R up to third order are given by this equations. So the first derivative of R has components 1, comma t, comma t squared. And the second derivative has components 0, comma 1, comma 2t. And similarly, the third derivative of the vector function r has components 0 comma 0 comma 2 and then if we calculate this expression we obtain this scalar function so this is the expression for the torsion of the curve given